Patrick Morrow's interest in mountaineering began at a very young age. He spent many years honing his skills on various mountains all over the world. He aspired to climb the highest peaks on each continent. And in 1977, he made his first attempt at Denali, North America's highest peak. Morrow arrived at the summit after several weeks of arduous climbs and perilous weather, gazing out over the vast expanse below. This success inspired him to continue his quest, and he climbed Aconcagua in South America, Mount Everest in Asia, Kilimanjaro in Africa, Mount Kosciuszko in Australia. He also visited Antarctica to climb Mount Vincent, as well as Europe to climb Mount Elbrus. From the extreme altitude of Everest to the icy slopes of Vincent, each climb presented its own unique challenges. But Morrow persevered. He completed his goal of summiting all seven peaks. His skills as an adventure photographer landed him a spot on the 1982 Canadian Mount Everest Expedition. And on October 7th that year, he became only the second Canadian to reach the summit. On Mount Everest, he realized that he has now stood on three continents, North America, South America, and Asia. Over the next four years, he climbed to the highest points in Europe, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, reaching his final summit on May 7th, 1986. While American businessman Dick Bass claimed the Grand Slam of mountaineering before Morrow, Morrow included all of Australasia in his continental definition, and thus climbed Karsten's Pyramid, a peak nearly twice as high as Mount Kushkyo. Pat was initially drawn to the lure of the unknown. He was enticed back to several of the summits, working as a hired gun on documentary film projects as he helped pioneer the logistics that were required to reach the most inaccessible peaks. Mount Vincent and the Karsten's Pyramid and fine-tune them for others following the Seven Summits' path. In 2002, Canada Post created a beautiful postage stamp. It was based on Pat's photos. They created an entire set. It was his pictures of the Seven Summits to commemorate the International Year of Mountains. Morrow's accomplishments, however, did not end there. He was the first person to complete both the Bass and Messner lists, in addition to climbing the Seven Summits in the Karstens version. These lists are an amalgamation of the locations around the world where mountaineers aspire to climb. The Bass list includes the highest peaks on each continent, as well as the highest peaks in the Seven Summits region, whereas the Messner list includes the highest peaks on each continent, as well as the Karstens Pyramid, Oceania's highest peak. Morrow's commitment to mountaineering has inspired countless others to pursue their own ambitions, and his legacy lives on today. He has since become a well-known photographer and filmmaker, documenting the natural beauty of the world's most remote and inaccessible regions. There are numerous other lists and challenges in the world of mountaineering, each with its own set of goals and requirements. Climbers like Patrick Morrow have pushed the limits of what is possible in this realm, inspiring many others to follow their dreams and reach new heights. His love of exploration and adventure has left an indelible mark on the world of mountaineering and beyond. These are Interesting Things with J.C.